Hi, Erin here. So I have my next set of five inks and these five are all, Oops, nope, sorry, wrong bag. Let's see. There it is. These five are all sailor inks. So let's see what we have. We have Sailor Ink Studio 224, Sailor Ink Studio 264, Sailor Manyo Kikyo, Kikyo, Sailor Yurameko, Yurameku Yoi, and Sailor Ink Studio 252. All right, so we're gonna swatch these on my Nanami Tomoe River Cream and my Galen Leather Co. Tomoe River, which is in a bright white. I'm gonna keep the bright white here. The cream will be off to the side and I will show a comparison once everything is swatched. So we're going to start with Sailor Ink Studio 224. And I'm using my Kakamori brass nib with the Kakamori holder. I think most, if not all, of these are chromo shading inks. So this is Sailor Ink Studio 224. So I have, I have some neighbors um, that are wonderful. Actually, one of my other videos, uh, I received a gift card from my neighbor for Galen Leather Co. And um, she gave me that gift card because I had posted a picture on social media after going to the Commonwealth Pen show. And... Um, so she told me that she went back to that picture and she zoomed in to see the packaging of one of the items that I got. And so she got me a, a gift card to Galen Leather Co. Um, she's so, so sweet. So I have a dog. She, they have a dog. She has a dog. And um, so occasionally she'll send me a message and say, hey, can, can we get the girls together for a play date? So uh, the girls, just finished a play date. Um, my dog, Marley. Whoops. I cannot talk and write at the same time. Um, when we talk about the, the other dog uh, and just saying her name, she will run to the door and just lose her mind and um, do this like really excited yelp and uh, it's very, very, very cute. So she just got back from having a play date with her bestie. Um, so that's really nice. It's nice to get tired puppies, especially when um, 
you know, we do work during the day and so the dog is home by herself. So it's nice for her to uh, get some puppy social time. I am very strongly considering um, getting her into like a puppy daycare a few days a week. She's a very energetic dog. Um, and especially after these vacation weeks, um, it's like she revolts for a little bit. She, you know, just gets really uh, energetic and has a hard time transitioning after being home with her family for a week of vacation. So that one doesn't have a whole lot of chromo shading. I think I expected a little bit more, but still it's a beautiful color. Sailor. Ink Studio 252. I love this Captain Murray nib. It's wonderful. Beautiful, perfect. Ooh, that's got some nice, nice color coming through. All right, so next one will be the Sailor Manu. Up. Oh, love that. Oh, that's dark. I'm not used to that with a sailor, I think. Oh, but that's beautiful. Ooh, that's another nice navy color. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. So the, I think perhaps the only other Sailor Manio ink that I have, which I could be wrong, is Haha, -ha, and that has chromo shading. So I expected for this one too. Hmm. Let's keep watching it as it dries. Pop. Yes, I will do that every single time. Okay. Oh, beautiful. One is Sailor Yura Maku Yoi. That is pretty. It's like a grayish brown with some pink coming through. Okay, looks like this one's got a little bit of red shading to it. So that's really, oh, that's really pretty. Oh yes, there is some red shading, absolutely. Absolutely, you can see it right in here. 
Okay, so we have the Sailor Ink Studio 224, which has some purple and some kind of like a bright, um, I guess teal. Oh, I wish I could remember <laughs> there was a video, um, teal versus turquoise. Oh, I wish I could remember. Um, the Sailor Ink Studio 264, which does not seem to have chromo shading, but it does have really pretty shading. Sailor Ink Studio 252, it does have chromo shading. So it has this pink and then almost like a green color to it. The Sailor Manio Kikyo, 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 um, really nice navy with some red sheen to it not an overpowering amount of sheen though kind of a small amount it's a, it's actually a little bit more prevalent in the writing than it is in the swatch and then the sailor yurimeku yoi um, as it's drying it's getting to be a little bit almost less complex than it was as it went down so it's this brownish gray on the darker side with a little pink hint. And in this right here, you can see the pink towards the end where it's a little bit thicker. So now let's look at the cream paper. Okay, so here's the Sailor Ink Studio 224. And again, it has that kind of pop of bright pink that's coming through this beautiful blue. Oh, I, I love that. There's the Ink Studio 264, and it has some really nice shading to it. The Ink Studio 252, and it's that um, pink with a little bit of like a greeny brown background to it. The Manyo Kikyu, and it's got that red sheen. Again, not an overpowering amount of red sheen, which I actually really appreciate. And then the Yurimeku Yoi, um, it, darker for sure. And it does have that pink coming through. So now let me position it so we can see them a little bit more side by side. And we've got our Sailor Ink Studio 224 is a little bit of a darker um uh base blue it's a little bit almost like a story the ferris wheel press storied blue in the background but that pink sitting on top which is really fascinating um the sailor ink studio 264 has a lot more shading on this cream to moe river paper than it does on this one um the sailor ink studio 252 it it seems to be a little bit brighter of a pink, but it still has that background kind of, kind of greenish brown. The Manio Kikyo, Kikyo, um, fairly similar actually between the two papers. It's fairly similar. Um, I think the way that the ink sets down in this paper it's less streaky it's a little bit more streaky on this tomoe river paper and then the yoi almost has a brighter pink coming through on the cream paper than it does on the white paper but all of these are beautiful oh i love ink so much so much so these are my five samples from Goulet Pen Company, and it is part of my uh, continued Christmas celebration. I purchased these with a gift card, and I have uh, another set of five that I've already published on this channel, and I have three more sets of five to come. So... I hope you look forward to exploring those inks as much as I do, and thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Bye.